a Nick here, and in 2015, the US spent $590 billion on its defense, which totaled to be more than 54% of its entire federal budget. Now, while you may have your disagreements, one thing can be for certain. The US needs to spend a lot of money in order to ensure that we don't fall behind other countries in this eternal tech arms race. And today, instead of talking about the newest F-35 or some really cool piece of technology, I want to take a step back and look at the US's most antiquated piece of hardware. The country's entire nuclear control system, which still runs on a 1970s IBM computer and reads information off of an 8 inch floppy disk. Let's check it out. Okay, so now what I just told you sounds insane. You'd think that with one flick of the hand or small mistake, you could send the entire world into a state of disorder. And you wouldn't be totally wrong. Reports from as early as 2014 indicate that the Air Force had been using 8-inch floppy drives and 70s IBM Series 1 computers to run its nuclear silos. And possibly the most unsettling thing is that the government doesn't seem to think that this is a huge problem. They recognize it's there, but they stress that the average timeline of our hardware that the military uses is modern, but not that we still use stuff from four decades ago. Now you may be telling yourself that this is something the US can change very easily, and you'd be right, but the reason they haven't is actually a pretty good one. If you're launching something as serious as a nuclear missile, your system better be impenetrable. And if you're using an IBM Series 1 in today's age, there's no USB port or network to gain you entry. You can't load up a firmware Trojan or ignite a remote boot virus because it's impossible. And in today's age where sensitive information leaks are rampant and data is so precious, that's something incredibly high tech. As you can imagine, the biggest downside to all of this is maintenance. It costs an incredible amount to keep these computers up and running, as opposed to just switching over to something new. Now, reports do indicate that the Air Force will eventually migrate their systems by the end of 2018 and trash their 70s hardware for good, but I definitely think this was worth the discussion. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.